All right, boys, so the first BitTensor halving is finally behind us, but the only thing that halved was my net worth and my patience. Yeah. But on a more serious note, here's what happened with the tokenomics after the first halving. So you have Tau in that goes from the protocol to the Stubness liquidity pool that got slashed in half from 7,200 to 3,600, as well as with Alpha in. So Alpha in and Tau in make up each Subness liquidity pool and it just got more scarce by 2x. However, a common misconception is that subnet participants like validators and miners are going to get their work and their rewards cut in half, which is completely false. These people rely on alpha out, which isn't going to get slashed in half up until 10.5 million alpha tokens issued. And right now, Shoots is probably the subnet with the highest issuance, and it's only at three or four million. We have a long way to go until miners have their rewards cut in half. Because subnet owners that are tech savvy, you know, that have good marketing, that can speak well, that are very active on X, that do impressive things, that have a revenue, that understand alpha token prices, that they care about their holders, their stakers, etc are going to see their subnets thrive because in my opinion, after the first halving, having a bad subnet is going to be much harder because subnet liquidity pool is thinner and alpha price depends on that subnet liquidity. When miners dump to pay their machines, their electricity, their bills, it hurts twice as much. So this is in general how I interpret the Betensor halving. It forces bad subnets out. They're not going to survive for longer. They're probably going to get deregistered because their EMA price will be very low and it just optimizes the way capital is going to get paid out in the long run. The longer you stay in Betensor, the harder it gets. So you need to get more innovative. It's like the Hunger Games. It's insane. But on the flip side, if there's an influx of demand for subnets, the only way to access the subnet ecosystem is by buying the macro token, which is Tau. And surely after the first halving, there's going to be much less Tau sitting on exchanges because naturally there are less Tau into the subnets liquidity pool to grab from. So if you want access to subnets, you're gonna have to buy Tau. There's not gonna be a lot of Tau on centralized exchanges. So for me, this equates the price up in the long run. It is extremely important you understand this because Betensor is the only cryptocurrency, well, at least that I know of and is relevant, that has a two-layered halving system. You have the Tau halving and the Alpha out halving. This is super important to understand. And what's super cool is that these subnet tokens live in their own mini ecosystem bubble and they don't get affected if there's a large crypto crash or a drawdown or Ethereum or Cardano crashes or whatever, because the liquidity pools are only paired with Tau. Yes, when Tau crashes, that subnet token is worth less, but just because a cryptocurrency crashed 80% or XRP crashed 60%, you won't see that same crashed ratio inside of subnets. And you can even see subnets that jump a thousand percent during a full-fledged bear market. That's why I think subnets are the new altcoins of 2017 and 2021. You just need to put your head down, go into articles, go into books, read about subnets, and you can make actually good money even during a bear market. The BitTensor bull case is super simple for me right now. And I say this even when price is at an all time low almost. Tau is valued at approximately $2 billion and you have a dozen subnets already that are the world's cheapest, best, most reliable, and they're performant in their own sectors. And they're making serious noise and all sorts of competitions and benchmarks and things of that nature against powerful centralized competitors. How is this valued at only $2 billion or $200 per token? It doesn't make any sense to me. The risk reward is simply insane right now. Ridge has built a full fledged AI coding agent that does software development for you through the data and the work of its top talented miners for under a million dollars, something that required hundreds of millions in funding from Anthropic and OpenAI to build ChatGPT and all these LLMs that can code. Shoots, it's a full-fledged business. They have over 500,000 clients. They processed billions and trillions of tokens. All my scripts, all my automations, and my bots is connected to Shoots' his AI models. I'm a customer. It's a full-fledged business. This is real, guys. Hippias, if you want cloud storage to store your videos, your photos, if you're a filmmaker, whatever, a director, it's like 98% cheaper than Amazon. It's decentralized and it's powered by Betensor. C 
Celium, you can rent powerful GPUs for like a few bucks per hour and video graphic cards that normally cost $40,000. You can hop on their easy dashboard, plug into it, and you know, even mine on other subnets with that GPU. It's literally insane. And obviously the center of this video, BitCast Subnet 93, my favorite subnet, the best decentralized marketing and coordination agency of the world. SN93 BitCast is probably my favorite subnet because it addresses the most important thing in BitTensor and that's bringing the masses to the network. Short term, they wanna focus on BitTensor related briefs such as I'm doing right now. And long term, any brand you can think of in any sector, any niche can work with BitCast and pay them big bucks to have their miners spin up amazing videos. BitTensor is the only layer one cryptocurrency project that doesn't have VCs, a marketing budget, people that fund it, equity holders, people that tell us what to do. And that's why I think BitCast is the perfect fit for BitTensor and it really helps it. It incentivizes real eyeballs, real views, real clicks on BitTensor and the ecosystem. And later on, it will expand to any type of brand, just like I said, via the creativity of its miners. So if you wanna be a miner on BitCast, the only thing you have to do is have 100 subscribers, have 1,000 minutes of watch time, which is really easy, and you can spin up the videos for yourself and earn some tokens. In the future, for example, imagine Crest Toothpaste hitting up BitTensor and they're like, yo, I need to run a $1 million campaign on my new electric toothbrush. Have all your dentistry miners and your medical healthcare professionals run videos on my new and upcoming electric toothbrush. Go do it right now. You have two days to complete it. I want the miners to say this, 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 and that. That's the brand overview. Go make up a video. And then you have this price pool of $100,000 and you have all the miners competing for that, trying to be interesting, saying the right things and getting the message across for Crest Toothpaste. It's literally insane. And on top of that, the brand owners only pay for real metrics what's actually been done, how many views they actually got since BitCast actually uses YouTube's scoring algorithm to pay out the miners. It's made very professionally. So brand owners have the shot to actually reducing the volatility of like one and done deals. For example, paying 100K to someone and it doesn't work out. They only pay based off the attention they generate, which naturally reduces volatility and just is a better service overall. They also have the stakers like us in mind, which I really appreciate. They understand that price is everything and they're making tokenomics sustainable. They understand that miners need to get rewarded and sell for their work. So they're always strategizing workarounds as to how to offset these minor emissions and other smart implementations, which is really reassuring. Right now, for any brief or ad campaign, they're getting paid in Tau and they're taking those tokens and converting them and buying subnet 93 alpha token, which is direct buy pressure for the revenue that they're generating just to make it more sustainable. And quite frankly, not a lot of subnets do that. If you look on Tau stats, they're amongst the highest subnets that implement burns. Bitcast is amongst the highest subnets that implement buybacks and burns. And if you go on Tau stats, they've burned over 300,000 tokens. And even though their alpha token is down, it equates to over a million dollars worth of alpha tokens burned. Personally, after 10 years in crypto with Bitcast and BitTensor, I just can't be bearish right now. The writing's on the wall for me and BitCast is doing a lot of marketing and it's helping BitTensor right around the first halving, which is great for price in my opinion. So the cool part, how much did I freaking earn making these videos? Right now, I am earning anywhere between one and two Tau per video. It's a lot, guys, because we're very early in this. So this is what's actually keeping me afloat because I have so much of my net worth tied up in BitTensor. And I am making these videos with BitCast getting paid, which is super helpful. So anyone that's interested, we're still early. Get 100 subs, start your channel. Who knows what's going to happen, but you might make some big bucks. We are early in this, so we still have a lot of time. If you stay consistent, you follow the briefs, you might make good money. You have briefs every week, so there's a lot of work to do. I'm, I personally don't care. I'm exposing everything. I just showed you how much I make per video. I'm probably the only YouTube channel that does this, but my passion for BitTensor is so big. When I started out, I seeked out some videos. I seeked out help. So I want to do the next thing for the next BitTensor generation. It's literally my sole purpose. I quit everything for this. I left a $100,000 job per year just to do this BitTensor thing. So I am fully locked in. 
simply because I was incentivized to start earning on BitTensor, but I didn't know how, and I stumbled across BitCast, they incentivized me to create this channel, which spiraled into coding, into making automation, into inventing investment frameworks for subnets, into running a Discord alpha groups, all this in four months. Like, I don't even understand what I'm doing, where I'm at. This is literally insane, all because of one simple subnet. Everything started with BitCast. If you want more information, you want to start mining, but don't know where, feel free to join our paid exclusive alpha group and you're going to have one-on-one -on -one access to me, to other people, ask your questions and figure your way out on how to start mining and earning. And mind you, BitTensor is the only layer one cryptocurrency project without a marketing budget. No VC campaign fundings, we didn't raise equity, there's no BitTensor company, no shareholders, no people guiding us on what to do or where to go. It's very messy, it's community driven, and that's how I like it. I think BitTensor is going to be much more decentralized within the next year. We need to give it a chance. It's a super young project and the founders understand that and they're working day in and day out to actually make it more decentralized. So I have faith in them. Like if you literally look at Bitcoin, it's been almost 20 years and there's a few mining pools who own most of the hash rate. There's a huge battle right now with Bitcoin for inscriptions and how much data you can put into transactions. And you know, developers, they can be paid, they can be bought off to actually voice their opinion in a certain way or a direction. So nothing is truly perfect. No protocol is 100% immune to fails or things of that nature, even Bitcoin. So you need to remove that from your head. And actually, I enjoy when projects such as Bitcoin or BitTensor are super messy. It just shows that we're attacking real world problems. It has utility. People care. It's opinionated. People believe it. People don't. People see the vision. Others don't. But in the end, we're addressing real world problems that aren't perfect. And, you know, nobody knows the route we're going to take, you know, to reach our final vision for BitTensor. Like if you really think about it quickly, BitTensor is probably the only cryptocurrency where you can work in a professional way, not scamming people, not flipping JPEGs, not flipping monkeys around, or you know, pumping coins on pump.fun. It's literally very professional, it's different. I haven't seen this in crypto for the past 10 years. You can offer things, you can consult people, you can earn during a bear market via mining or validating. You can build products, you can build dashboards, you can offer something to someone because it's a never ending ecosystem in which you can learn stuff, offer to people, help people. And on top of that, you have 128 startup companies, which are subnet that you can research on a daily basis and pick your favorite ones to buy, hold, trade, whatever. Guys, I'm serious. BitTensor literally increases your IQ. If you take it seriously, if you learn one new thing a day, you're going to be amazed at how far this network pushes you. That's why it is the main focus of this channel because you have so many ways to make money inside of BitTensor and I haven't seen this in crypto. I don't even consider BitTensor and Tao a crypto. It's something completely apart. It's something completely different. It's a 1000 year federation of coordination of work and it incentivizes people accordingly through the value that they output to the world and rewards in the most efficient way possible in humanity through code and human consensus. No emotions, no humans, no boss, no HR, no favoritism, no nepotism, just pure competitiveness, incentives and talent. If you're worthy, just you can plug in and start playing. And to me, the fact that it doesn't span across AI only, it just has an unlimited market cap at this point. And to finish off, that's why I think we are severely undervalued. Guys, mind you, we are trading at levels seen in 2022 and 2023 before subnets were even a thing. But right now we have the same price, but 10,000 x the innovation. So the risk reward is just growing every day for me and whatever extra cash I have, I'm just buying personally. To me, there's no way we stay a long time in the 200s. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I just purchased a large order amount. I exchanged some Bitcoin for BitTensor at 250 bucks. So we'll see what's going to happen. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay strong. BitTensor is here to stay. Don't worry. I know it's hard, but that's my opinion. It's severely undervalued. Learn it on a deeper level. Understand subnets, mining, validating. Understand how you can earn in this ecosystem and mine during the bear market. Switch from a buyer perspective to a production subnet so you can stay afloat and you don't fumble your bags at the worst possible moment. So stay patient, everything will be fine and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.